Hi Luke, it's uh, Ray Newlands here from Just For Keepers, also called J4K. I hope you're fitting well. So first of all, a thousand thanks for uh, putting in the question regarding obviously uh, what we're doing on the 30-day confidence and obviously helping goalkeepers like yourself become bulletproof. Uh, really, really, really interesting questions that you asked Luke. Uh, also, you're only 17 years of age and six foot five, uh, so that's pretty impressive. Obviously, your build. Um, I'm sure you're going to frighten the life out a lot of a lot of impose, opposing players, uh, and I'm sure once you've gone through this 30 day challenge, I, I, I I'm more than confident it's going to help you. Um, obviously, develop from going junior football and playing into adult football because going into adult football at 17 years of age is a big thing. I, I, there's not many goalkeepers have actually done that. Um, actually, without sounding arrogant, uh, Luke, I was actually uh, actually did that myself when I was seventeen. Uh, I played uh, basically. I went into adult football, which is actually good old pub football. Uh, so, um, so I I understand everything that you're going through because uh, it is a massive jump, especially when you're only seventeen years of age. Um, and I assure you, you know, you're asking the right questions, so you'll get the positive results that you want moving forward. So I'm just going to an answer the questions as you answered them, uh, Luke. So hopefully it will help you. Well, I'm positive it will help, Luke. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to obviously you were saying that uh, you know one of the things that you're struggling with, you know, going into adult football is you know is knowing what to say. Uh, to the to the adult players because what happens is when you, you're young when you're younger when you're a young goalkeeper like to yourself and you go into adult football Luke you tend to think you know uh, the first mistake uh, that I made as a 17 year old goalkeeper and it sounds like you're making the same mistakes that I did so don't worry young man what happens is we think oh the adults they know more than us they don't okay if they've not played in goal themselves. And obviously you said that you were a junior goalkeeper, Luke. So obviously I'm presuming you've played goalkeeper for many, many years. I promise you, you will know more than any of your outfield and players, okay, who have not played in goal. And any of the supporters watching, even your coaches and management, if they've not played in goal, okay, you know more than them as a goalkeeper, okay. So again, you know, we don't do this in an arrogant way. We do this in a confident way because when you know more, then obviously, then the, your 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 teammates, it gives you more confidence to shout something. And if they come back with a nonsical answer, well, you'll have the answer back. Okay, so uh, so the first thing you gotta realize, Luke. Okay, is that you'll know more than your uh, uh, your teammates, even though that you're still only seventeen and they're now adults. Okay, so you know more than them. Period. Okay, yeah. So the first thing you were saying is that you you know that you don't know what to say. Okay, so what you do in that scenario Luke, is keep it simple. Now I've mentioned this in other videos, and I think I've mentioned this in the thirty day challenge as well. But I want to say it again because obviously this is a personal video to yourself. So the first thing is keep it simple, Luke. Okay, because what a lot of goalkeepers are rightly and wrongly told uh, to do as goalkeepers is they say as goalkeepers you've always got to talk which is right and wrong really, okay? As goalkeepers, yet yeah, we've got to talk, but we should not talk all the time. I made this mistake when I was a professional goalkeeper because there was no one about to tell me what I was doing right or wrong. We, we never had, we have ne we never, I played many years ago, as you can tell, Luke, uh, and we never had sort of the coaching and the mentoring like it is in this day and age now, because obviously a lot more people understand the mindset, etc. So the thing is, is to keep it simple. What you don't want to do as a goalkeeper is talk too much. I know it sounds crazy, so bear with me. What happens is if you talk too much as a goalkeeper, what happens is your teammates or your defenders, they go, ah, oh, Luke, is he, is he waffling on again? Uh, and they stop listening to you because, for the most part, because if you try and talk for 90 minutes, a part of that 90 minutes talking is going to be just waffle. So the first thing you just need to do is just keep it simple, Luke. Okay, so... Just focus on things like this. So, for example, you know, let's say your left pack is called David, uh, and you see the left winger, you, you know, starting to drift away from David, and obviously get in the space, which is obviously da dangerous for David and you as a goalkeeper. So, just shout simple things like David, left shoulder. If your right back's called Simon, and again, it's happening to Simon, Simon, right shoulder. Even with your centre backs, etc. You know, just literally, just little. Um, little loud 
um, so sorry, little, uh, sorry, so little but very loud uh, communication, and also to your central defenders. Even sometimes it could be your midfielders. You know, Joey, right shoulder. And again, you tell your teammates before the game. Listen, guys, look, uh, I'm not going to shout all the time, but if I shout, you know, Joey or John, left shoulder, please make sure you look because your your opponent is getting the edge on you. And what happens then is because you're helping them, uh, they're going to listen. Uh, and when you say that, Luke, just say with confidence, okay? Yeah. Even though that you might be scared inside, it's called wearing masks, okay? So if you put when, so when you go to your teammates before the game, go right, guys. So put a mask on. Go right. I'm super confident. Look and act and feel super confident. And I promise you, Luke. Okay. Yeah. Even if you might be nervous on the inside, if you put on an act. Your teammates won't know that you're nervous, okay? That's what most people do, okay? Even professional athletes wear masks. They pretend to be uh, confident, okay? Until they, they do it that much, they automatically become confident, if that makes sense, okay? So the first thing is, what I want you to do next time you play with your teammates is go in, put a mask on, and about to think, right, okay, I'm going to go in, I'm going to... You're going to go into the... So, so visualise, you're going to go into your changing room and visualise that you're going to be loud, you know, uh, you know, uh, to your teammates, say it with a smile on your face, or you know, be you know, don't be too, don't be too tense, okay? So, hey guys, listen, can I just have a quick word or say to your manager before? Look, you know, I've spoken. Just tell him as well. Listen, I've got some advice from Ray Newland, just for keepers, and he's asked me to do this before the game. Uh, and if the, if the coach has got anything, to, and if the coach has got anything about about them, that they'll allow you to speak to your defenders uh, or your and your teammates and say, listen, guys, look, moving forward, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be changing my communication slightly uh, you know so look rather than talking all the time uh, you know uh, I'm going to just be you know if I, if I shout a commandment to yourself you know or an instruction or a warning you know John left shoulder please listen because look I can see I get a different viewpoint to yourself and I can see your opposing player uh, your your opponent they're getting the edge on you they're getting obviously that space obviously what you don't want and most defenders on and your teammates, they'll obviously want to know that because they will not want the opponent getting the edge on them. So the first thing is go in again, even though that you might be nervous, don't let your teammates know that. I promise you, they won't know that you are nervous. Put a mask on, pretend to be confident, go in. Right, guys, this is what I'm going to do. So when you just talk, so when you start talking in the game, just keep it simple, okay? Left shoulder, right shoulder, and then also as well, if they make a great tackle. So give them, you know, you know, great tackle, or they get if they win a header, great header, you know, great header, Johnny. So just keep your communication simple, okay? Yeah, keep it simple. By like like what I've just said, left shoulder, right shoulder. So you're basically going to give instructions or warnings, and you're also going to pay compliments. So just keep it basic for now, uh, for now, Luke. If that makes sense. And while you're going through your thirty day challenge, because I'm going to go on to the next question now, where it says that you know sometimes you know what to say. But you don't know, you know, you can't get your words out fast enough as well. And that's probably go. That's probably because you think, oh my goodness me, you know, they're adults. I'm only seventeen. They might not listen to, might not listen to me. They will. Okay, yeah, they will. If you're good enough, you're making saves and you're communicating and you're helping them. They will listen to you. But it all goes back to just start off being simps. Just start off simple. Okay, so. Um, so where you say you don't know what to say, sorry, wait, sorry. The second question you asked me was where you said is you know what to say, but you just can't get it out. What I advise you to do because you just jumped from junior to adult and you're only seventeen. Go back to what I said in in, in question one. Just keep it simple because I promise you, if you keep it simple, okay, yeah, for maybe the, maybe the next say six to eight games, you'll start to get your confidence then because you'll start to realise that your, your you know your your adult players will start listening to you and then well obviously more things that you see that you'll be able to to get across because you've built your confidence up in yourself and you can see the confidence that your teammates have got in you as well if that makes sense. So let's just keep it simple to start with, Luke. And the other question that you said is that you feel, obviously because you're only 17 and they're adults, that you don't get any trust, you know, you don't feel like you're getting any trust from your teammates. And that's probably coming more from you than your teammates, okay, yeah. Because again, when I turned 18, I was actually, I actually was playing semi-professional. So I was actually playing with like a lot of players who were professional and they were obviously coming out the game and they were, you know, they were finishing their career and they were semi-professional. Uh, and they were in like the, the, the early 30s, some of them in their late 30s and I came in as an 18-year-old 
Uh, but you know, this was a team called Winsford United, uh, which was in the HFS Loans League at the time in North in Northern England. Uh, but because like I've just what I've just explained here in this video to yourself, Luke, because I was loud, and again I was keeping things sort of simple, but because I was making saves um, and I was keeping the team in the game, I had respect. They they got I got their respect, okay? Um because if you if you perform for your team they're going to respect you, okay? Yeah. So, so where you th where your feel is, where you're thinking that then you know maybe not they're not taking you seriously because you're seventeen. I'm, I'm honestly that will be you thinking that, Luke. Okay. Yeah. Not your teammates. Okay. Okay. You might get one or two teammates who are like that. Okay. But take no notice of them. That honestly, you, you'll get the odd moron in every team. But if some if if, if one of your other one of your teammates is not giving you respect because they're old and you're young. Take no notice of them seriously because the majority of your teammates um, will, 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 will appreciate you and will trust you. If you're making saves and keeping them out the game, uh, sorry, keeping them in the game, sorry, okay, yeah. Uh, and also you're shouting instructions, like I said, you know, hey, left shoulder, right shoulder, and, and you're, you're helping them, you'll very quickly, you know, they'll quickly go, ah, Luke knows what he's talking about. And you do, okay, you do, okay. So I wouldn't worry about the last one, Luke, because that's probably yourself just overthinking things. Because I'm going to repeat myself, if you're communicating and you're helping your teammates and you're making saves and keeping them in the game, they will absolutely love you, okay, yeah. And for the odd one or two that don't, don't even worry about them because the majority of team, the team will. And eventually what happens is those types of uh, players will always come around anyway, they will always come around. And remember, remember Luke, you know more than every single player in your team okay yeah if you've played in goal for many seasons which you have and they've never played in goal you know more than them okay so when you talk okay yeah you need you need to realize is that they need your instruction they need your help don't think that they know more than you don't think that if you shout something they're going to go ah nonsense don't get me wrong again you will get the odd idiot in your team that will not listen to anything you say that's not down to you. That's because your teammate's an idiot, okay? Yeah, they won't, they won't listen to anybody. Don't even worry about that type of player. All you've got to do is keep doing the right thing. Keep writing the, keep shouting the right instructions or the right motivation or the right encouragement, etc. Because your teammate will hear, the supporters will hear, the managers, management will hear. So as long as you do the right thing and always do the right thing for yourself as a goalkeeper... You'll always go. You'll always do good, Luke. Okay. Uh, so hope that helps. Uh, I'm sure the thirty day challenge will help yourself. But if you've got any questions, Luke, please, please uh, get back to me anytime, and I will personally get back to you. Okay. All the best. But please go and do that the next time you play. Like I said, tell your coach, coach. If I've spoken to Ray Newland, uh, you know Ray Newland is this legend, and <laughs> I'm only I'm only messing. But if you just say, hey, listen, look, Ray played professional for ten years as a goalkeeper. He's coached goal he's coached thousands of goalkeepers all over the world for the past twenty years, but you have. I'm not being arrogant saying that Luke, I have actually done that. I've coached thousands of goalkeepers. And he said, look, this is what Ray's recommended me to do. Come and have a word at you first. Am I okay to have a word at the teammates? I'm just going to keep with me I'm going to keep the communication like really basic but but to the point. Um, and I, I promise you just start off basic, do the simple things uh, like I've already said in this video and I promise you I promise you Luke Give it like six to eight weeks, you'll you'll be you'll be flying. Hope that helps your man, okay? All the best. And six foot five and seventeen. That's amazing, mate. Okay? Catch you later.